Hello everyone, my name is Arash and I want to give you a, a demo of my micro strain measurement code. So in the code you need to have these files as I have here. Uh, the main file is major minor strain file, uh, which you can see in my MATLAB folder like this. And also the IM calibrate code um, is the sub code that you need to recall, which uh, has some fig and also .m file. And also you need to have this input FLC. I'm going to show you what's inside this input FLC uh, file. Basically, it's a structural variable containing three different uh, FLCs that I extracted from the literature. If you click on the first one, you can see that it's from Wu 2003 uh, paper. And the E1 and E2 are the major and minor strains that you need to have inside your uh, basically code. So basically, what inside this in, um, grain analysis code is being recalled is only E1 and E2 and also the ref. So you don't, if you want to change this FLC, you can change the FLC1 um, from uh, e, I mean E1 and E2 from what it is exactly right now to whatever you want. So I'm going to change it um, so that you can see how you can change it basically right here. So if you recall this FLC1, you can see the values. So if you want to change these values, you can use it, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, something like this. And also you need to have uh, this transfer sign here because all the values should be in the column-like uh, structure. So if you recall this thing again, you're going to see that the value is changed. So you can change this FLC1, uh, E1 and E2, and that's the only thing that I'm uh, calling inside this code. So next, um, basically, um, you need to have your sample images, um, put, um, have your images saved somewhere. Um, I have this image of the as received material. You can see it here. This is the as received material. Um, and also I um, have the length of the scale bar marked in my image, as you can see here and here. And also, uh, you need to be careful uh, to post-process your image in a way that these grain boundaries are not connected and also the matrix should be white, the grain boundaries should be black. This is the way that um, I've made this code. You can inverse um, your image easily in any software or you can have an inverse function inside this code, add it so that it, it will work uh, the other way as well. And also, you need to have the um, deformed structure since my metallography was color metallography, I had difficulties with the grain boundary uh, detect detection with um, color thresholding. So um, I ended up tracing the grain boundaries like this and marked the uh, length and position of the scale bar, as you can see here. And then I scanned this image, post-process it a little bit, and basically um, what I had at the end was this image that again you can see the, uh, the scale bar marked here and that's it um, so let's run the code see how does it work um, the first time I want to run it only I mean disregarding these values forget about these values um, I'm going to run it for the as received material so that you can see how I um, basically calculated the, uh, these values, major grain size and mi minor grain size in micrometer. So once I click OK, it's going to ask me for the image. Here, um, I need to increase the size of this image so that I can see the scale bar. So the scale bar are here. This subcode is designed in a way that it is capable of calculating in, uh, the uh, pixel density in th three different ways, either manually uh, micro strain per pixel or using the calculated based on the length of the uh, scale bar. So once you click on this, you're going to have uh, this uh, blue bar appeared. You need to adjust it, place it at one side of the scale bar and place the, uh, I mean, resize the other part. And then you need to change this value. This is the micrometer length of the scale bar. Uh, just by the name of the file, I know that the, the length of the scale bar is going to be 100 micrometers, so I'm going to have this 100 micrometer here, and then just click OK. You don't need to change the, uh, I mean, crop image or trim image or whatever, uh, they're not going to work for um, this code. So once I click on OK, 
it's going to uh, show me the results it is going to basically detect the green boundaries like here and then it's going to assign a number to each of these grains and for the grains that were connected through the green boundaries you can see that both of them were marked as 337 uh, 337 so you can see that your code is run and uh, you have these values um, in, in your workspace um, if you click on your all major uh, axis you can see that it is um, an array full of numbers these are the uh, grain numbers the basically one is the grain number one and this is the major axis of it so you can have the uh, mean value or the average value here so you can see that the mean value for the all major axis was 17.07 and for the all minor axis is 46.22 so these are values that are used inside this uh, basically initiation or inside this code okay so this is what you need to do at the beginning to have so that you have these values and then you can uh, basically clear your um, code again um, and run it again for another sample which is going to be the default sample now we have these values click OK and then basically you can um, go to your image select your image open it and then again you can um, resize it, this image if you, this uh, window if you want Calculate based on the length of the scale bar. Place the scale bar at the position that you want. Extend the length of it. Okay. And then uh, change the value. I know that this is 150 micron. So I'm changing this value to 150. And then click OK. So these are the grains that are detected. Based on the standard, we need to omit the grains that are partially uh, measured or detected in, inside the um, microstructure. Then it's going to give you, assign a number to each of these grains. Then it's going to basically um, calculate the major and minor strains, as you can see here. And this is the FLC that you can ch you can uh, basically um, select your own FLC or change if you want. And these are the mean values versus the standard deviation along the major and mi uh, minor and major strains. So these are the values that you're looking for probably. The code is exporting all these values uh, into this output folder. And I, as you can see, I ran the code for the other specimen as well. So if you go to your specimen, to your image name uh, fo uh, folder, you can see that you have these um, images saved. And also um, you have the, all of these values exported as a text file. So you have these text file values exported and these are the major strain and these are the minor strain. So that will be all. Uh, I hope that uh, this uh, walking through was useful for you and uh, see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.